Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with part two of our envelope flip-flop journal with a twist. And the twist is, if you didn't see video one, I strongly encourage you to go back and watch that. It is the construction and putting all the papers on the panels. And then I show you how we made a pocket in the middle of the two envelopes to create a space for a small journal. Now, the journal can't be too thick because there's no gusset in the envelope, but um, it's going to work just fine. So, I went ahead and cut out a bunch of eph ephemera, way more than I need, but this was everything from the kit, and I um, cut it, I printed some um, extra small, so more than one to a page, and so that's why I've got varying sizes. So we're going to set that aside for now. And um, this is a kit from Bontic Vintage Designs, um, as I said in video one. Um, Anton over there is offering 50% off if you use the coupon code that is linked down below in the video description box. I believe it's 50% off and it's, I think it's Be Reborn Art 50, but please do check because I don't have that in front of me at the moment. So um, I've cut, I've printed um, some, some, um, background pages on some vellum. I like to use vellum for pockets because it doesn't then conceal the image. You can see the image through it. So we're going to be making some pockets out of vellum. So I've got all that prepped. I've got everything I need to do the signature. So I've got some uh, wax thread here. I think this is wax thread. Um, I can't find my, I have a I have some wax thread that's really, really thin, but I cannot figure out where I put it, which is so strange. As I say often in my studio, excuse me, everything has a place. So the fact that that is not here <laughs> is really strange. But anyway, so I've got my all, um, I've got my eyelet setter because we're going to be doing some eyelet work to make this look really grungy, hopefully, uh, as we move along. There will be a third video, which is where we'll be doing a lot of the decorating. So I've got brads in case I want to use those in some ephemera, and I've got my eyelets as well, corner rounder. And we might get into some of the ephemera today. We'll see how it goes. I've got my vintage photo archival ink, and I'm just going to pull over my Fabri-Tac. I am home today. It is Monday, March, what is today? March the 5th, I guess. I think it's the 5th, and we're home for a snow day. So surprising. Like, it, there was snow. There was a little bit of snow outside this morning, but I work in another uh, area, so they have... Um, a lot of the population lives up in the hills and stuff, so they just they rule that way just for safety on the for the buses. So um, looks like the the superintendent is going to try to apply for an exemption because it's going to push us now um, way into the summer, and it's just really suck, sucky. <laughs> so hopefully that'll work out. But uh, anyway, let's get going. So this was the project. In case you didn't see it, again, please go back and check out the first video. I will link it below. But this is a, kind of the flip-flop part of it. We've got a large envelope that flips up. We'll have pockets and such in here. This base one doesn't have a pocket, but um, everything else does either have a top loading pocket or a side loading. I think this one's on. It's one on one side or the other. No, maybe that this one's right here. Where is this one? <laughs> there better be one yeah right here no oh my goodness where is it it's right here <laughs> oh my goodness um and then when you flip it over you've got another flip with that medium size envelope and it also has a opening i believe right here oh it's got a little bit of glue there so it's going to hold some large tags, which I really love. And then again, this one does not have an opening, but we will make some po uh, some pockets or something out of that. So I'm going to set that aside, aside for now because we're going to work on the signature. So um, I've got, again, vellum and some other papers to do some pockets um, on the... Um, on the um, basis there. So this is our signature. It's very, very simple. So I, I use the Botnik Vintage Designs Vintage Clothes for the main images, but then you'll see I have this um, 
other paper that's another digital creator and then I also printed some of this lined paper um, I'll have to link it I think it's from Calico Collage but I'm not exactly sure but I will be sure to link it I just feel like it creates a little bit of variety for a signature and then we've got two pages in the signature that are printed on vellum just to add a pop of color so that's what we've got there I'm going to grab some paper clips here just to kind of secure my signature. It's very small, so let me tell you how many pages. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pages. So um, that's all we can do. It's not going to be any pockets or anything in this. It's just going to be strictly a writing journal. So that's what I had to do because in order to make it more um, sustainable for a large to, to make a larger journal we would need a gusseted place to put it inside of a, a of an envelope uh, journal so if you look at this let me pull that out again so I can show you the breadth of this so it's not too thick so it looks like it's got a pretty wide mouth but when you start sticking a journal in there it's it's a tight fit I mean it works and it's not going to be bulgy or anything but if I went any bigger it would be uh, it would be not good so I'm gonna I'll ink the edges and stuff later I'm not too concerned about that uh, before we get going here so I've got my foam pads here so I'm gonna bring those over <clears throat> I'm not even gonna measure you guys because this is literally six pages it's not a big deal so I'm just gonna kind of get them evened up and um, I think I'll just put a paper clip here and a paper clip over here and then we're just going to poke some holes we're just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch so I'm just going to go ahead and just poke right through and you do want to hold this at a, a 90 degree angle or 45 degree angle but basically like this because or even more uh, because if you don't your your um, your hole will not go all the way through the, the fold on each page so that's really important and then I'm just going to estimate down here super simple because we got nothing special going on here that one was a little off but it will be okay and then uh, up here as well so I need to be a little bit more careful and then when this tucks into the pocket um, I'll make the signature strings come out of the outside so that it will show so I'm going to try to remember that because I'm not great at <laughs> not great at that so what color do we want here I think I want this color here so I'm just going to get uh, three lengths of this waxed thread. One, two, three. Don't even have, oh, there's, this, there's the scissors. So I've been putzing around the studio, kind of dusted this morning. I actually got in my car. I knew we were on a late start. <laughs> but then at like 7.30, because we were at one hour delay. So I got in my car at 7.35, which is one hour later than I normally do. And thankfully, I looked at my phone, and there was a message from my team that said, "Oh, they've, they've closed school." So I had already almost pulled out of the out of the driveway. So I was really glad that I checked, and I didn't drive all the way there to only find out that they were that they were closed. So I was very surprised. Hoping this I haven't used this before. This is kind of thickish. Ah, man! I wish I knew where my thread was so irritating because literally everything in my studio has a place there's nothing that's out of order at all um, because this is too thick for this needle so I might have to switch needles we'll see wax thread you can kind of finagle a little bit but this is there we go did we get all of it though no no we did not okay so let me grab a different needle got one right here in the drawer I think um, where 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 this one's a honking needle though I don't really want to do this but I'm not gonna get this thread through there there we go yikesies okay so three hole pamphlet stitch mini lesson if you've never uh, never never seen this done 
So if you want your strings to hang out from the inside of the journal down, then you would start on the inside. But because we want it to go on the outside, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go in through the middle hole on the outside right here. Okay. <clears throat> And then you're just going to hold that end of that string. <clears throat> and I always cut way more thread than I need because I like to have that option for a nice dangle. But I figure we could put some really pretty beads on this. And um, that would be nice. So this is super fast because it's a small signature. It's only one signature. So see how that hole is off? It's way off the fold. But you know what? It's okay. Perfection is not at play in the studio. It's not enough for me to cry or anything like that so and then we're going to go back through the middle hole again you want to be careful not to pierce your thread that's already there because that will um, that can cause it to be compromised so take that off and boy that hole is really big yikesies just press that down a little bit I'll be able to, I can give it some a little bit of ink to get rid of that white core if I need to so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can line this up better and see if I can get a more even length here. There we go. That's better. And then you're going to just tie a knot. So I tie one knot, knot and then do the box knot, which is backwards. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to leave this fairly long because I don't know what I want to do with it. So I'm going to leave it very, very long. So now we can undo this. And easy peasy, just like that, it is done. I love it so much. I'm going to get my bone folder and see if I can squish that down a little bit more. It's pretty, pretty fat. Okay, now let's pull the, the folio over again. So it's going to go in like this. It doesn't matter. It can go like this so that the front, because this would be the front, and it's just going to slide in here like so. Boom. And then we can have some beautiful dangles hanging off the sides of that. So that's super cool. That was the perfect size. I'm so glad that worked out. So now let's do some pockets. So I'm going to take this, um, this off for now just so it's not in our way. And we're going to start with these. And what I want to do, as I mentioned in video one, I'd like to make some opportunity for some, um, some eyelets kind of hanging off of this. So in order to do that, we need to, we'll cut it, we'll do a corner pocket, but we'll, we'll double up the bottom so it's thicker and it's going to hang below here. That's my thought anyway. So I've got some papers over here I thought we could use. So this is one of the images from the kit. Is this just amazing or what? I absolutely love it. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I have to think about this different because normally I, I go this way, but, I, but the eyelet's right there, so I wanna go this way. So I'm gonna get the width here and cut that down and then we can, then we can move on. Sorry, I'm, I should be more calm and organized this morning, but I'm clearly not. Uh, yeah, clearly not. So let's just put that there, and then I'm just going to mark this, this edge here, and then just cut a strip so that we have something to work with. stinking cool isn't that wonderful look at that oh this just this grunge is just so cool it's just totally up my alley oh love it Anton you you did great so so we want to um, let's start with folding this over so that we don't forget to do that so I'm not gonna score it I'm just gonna give it a fold here about like that. Maybe um, I'll measure here for, for you in a second just to give you a, an estimation. This is not something you'd have to be super persnickety about, but I don't want it to be weak. Okay, so that was my 
my cheat ruler. I think somebody asked me about this and I don't think I answered the question. I am so sorry. If you were asking and talking about measurements, I do apologize. I don't think I answered that part of your comment now that I'm looking at my ruler. So I got this ruler on Amazon and it gives me every increment. Can you guys see that? Hopefully it will focus. Focus. It gives every increment. It gives eighth, quarter, three eighths, a half, five eighths, three quarters. I can't read a ruler to save my life other than the main increments. So I will link this ruler. Um, in fact, let me make a note because I won't remember. Link ruler. Um, so this is a this is a game changer for me. So my fold is just about a half of an inch. So again, it's not um, the specific measurement is not that important. So we're going to put this here and then we're going to decide how high we're wide now. How are we too wide now? That was strange. So I think I want it to go about right here. So I'm just going to make a mark right there, just a circle, a little bit of a line so I can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that angle. You guys wanted to see the raw uh, crafting here. <laughs> here you go. I'm going to kind of get a little bit of an edge here too. I'm hoping that I'm not going to regret this, but let's see what happens. Like that. Okay. Oh, I just did it again. I did this when I was playing earlier. I think we'll be okay. Um, we're a little bit wide, so I'm just going to cut... Um, Magical scissors, where did you go? What the what? I just had, there they are. <laughs> oh my word, I'm just gonna cut off a bit on that edge. It was just a little bit too wide. And I'm gonna glue this closed. I'm gonna grab my white glue just because I can get a, just cause I feel like it I guess today. I'm, I've almost given up on art glitter glue, you guys. I just, oh, I cannot keep that nozzle clean to save my life. And it's so frustrating. I don't have that issue with this. It does get plugged up from time to time, but not, not like the art glitter glue. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and ink these edges up, make it even more grungy than it already is. Okay, like so. And that's gonna go right there. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this on. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this. I'm not gonna put it on this short edge, um, just on the long edges. So the bottom and the side. Oh, that's not straight at all. Goodness gracious. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I think this is printed on a lighter paper. Um, I don't, I usually do 65 pound paper, but I ran out. I'm supposed to be getting some more today, but I have not yet received it, so. And I'm, I'm not getting it right up to that edge because I don't want it to bind and cause a problem when this opens and closes. So that's why it's not, it's not going completely to that edge. Okay, so there, oh, I didn't move it down. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, let's try that again, guys. Now that I've messed that up, <laughs> let's ink up where we just ink, where we just got that glue because I don't want that to show. We need to go low because we want that to hang out of the bottom. I don't know why it is so hard for me to remember that because it's different. It's a different process than I normally do. So I'm going to come up about half, um, a little more than halfway up that folded piece to right there. Boom, like that. Okay. Now we can put her on. So I'm just gonna kind of estimate that distance. I can kind of close this and see if we're, oh yeah, perfect, yes. So now that's gonna allow us to put, an, put some eyelets on there, an eyelet, maybe three eyelets, we'll see. We'll see what we want to do because we have to let that dry for now. So that's the that's the plan. 
Okay, so we're gonna let that dry for now and we're gonna go ahead and do one on this side as well. So shall we do, shall we do the blue? I think we should do the blue on this side. I'm gonna try to do this the same height just so that they, they look like they go but I have to account for that half of an inch. So I'm just gonna kind of estimate that half of an inch down here and make my mark, make my mark. I'm go ahead and trim that off. Boom, there we go. Oh, I just love that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so just check that. And I'm gonna actually make a mark just cause I wanna make sure that that I get it the exact same distance from the bottom. So I'm gonna make a mark here to know where to fold that. I hope that I can see it because it's on a weird paper here. And I'm just gonna find that pencil mark and give that a fold. I think we're about right, hopefully. You could of course measure and be a little bit more precise than I'm being, but that's pretty darn close. Okay. All right, so we're gonna also copy. So that's the bottom, right? That's the bottom. So now we need to, I don't know how to get this exactly the same though. We're too wide as well. So I need to trim off a bit off this edge. Yeah, I do. Hold on. Hopefully that's enough. Nobody's going to get in your in your journal though and measure, so guys, don't you don't have to worry about it like I'm worrying about it. So I'm going to go down here. Oh, this is so hard because I have to go from this corner. <laughs> ah trying to use this as a guide and it's not working very great. Okay, so I'm gonna make a mark here. I'm sorry, this is probably hard for you guys to see so that I can run um, a cut mark from here up to that corner. So, can I see it though? Did I even make a mark? Did I make a mark? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's try that again. I have to go off of this so that I can actually see I know this is, I'm not being very cognizant of the camera. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna make a harder line there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cut that from that mark up to the, up to the corner, like so. I know you guys can't see, trust me. You can trust me. Okay. Oh, and I just did it the wrong way. Ugh. Okay, we have to start over because we've got the eyelet. <laughs> ugh, ugh, ugh. This is so interesting. Okay, well, I guess we'll get more, more blue. So let's try that again. Actually, let's just measure this so that we don't make this mistake again. So <clears throat> this pocket from that tip to the bottom is three or two and seven eighths, so let me make a note of that. I can find something to write on. So two and seven eighths plus one half, okay? Which is what? Huh. Two and seven eighths. I can't see, I cannot do measurements, so. I know I am an educator, right? I. Oh, but it's so hard. So let me just do that and then I'm just gonna estimate out. Oh, that is counting. Oh, that's not counting. So I'm just gonna say three and a quarter. Okay. Probably gonna be sorry that I'm not being more precise. Three and a quarter. Okay, let's do it. What do we have to lose? We're having fun, right? Three and a quarter, okay? Does that look good? That looks good. Oh, that actually looks like it's that other part. Look at that. Funny. Okay. So that is that. So now we need to figure out the width. 
So I'm going to just put that up there. We're going to make a mark where that one is. Okay. And I'm making sure that I'm thinking about that going that direction so I don't make the same mistake. And giving that a slice. Okay, perfect. So now we want to put um, our, our little um, fold here. So again, I'm going to go ahead and mark that just because I want to be, um, I don't know, why not start to be precise right about now, Kara Renee? Right now. <laughs> Clearly I needed some more coffee this morning. Oh my goodness. Didn't sleep very good last night, so I generally don't on Sunday nights. I do not like... I've always struggled with the transition between Sundays and Mondays um, because of you know, just my life growing up. Um, so yeah, it's tough. So now we can go ahead and um, let's go ahead and turn this over. Well, we can't really tell though. Ugh. But we can cut from there to there and we should be good because it's that exact same distance, right? No, it's not. Oh, and that's not the same. How is it not the same? Okay, well, we're going to throw caution to the wind and we're not going to worry about the perfection. I am just going to visually look at this and say what I think. Okay, so I'm going to pull that down and I'm going to make a mark about right here. And I'm going to make my cut. If you guys are still here, I appreciate you. Uh, this is what happens though when I don't plan, but you guys ask to see the real thing and you ask to see ephemera, so we're gonna do it together. So unless you're gonna sit here and measure this, you're not gonna tell, you're not gonna be able to tell that these are different. So I'm gonna ink this up. And let's compare it. Maybe, maybe it's not as bad as I think. I think my this part is bigger than the other one, but let's just go ahead and lay this down and see. Yeah, it's not, it's slightly off, just slightly off, so I'm not gonna, not gonna fret about it. So now we're gonna glue this shut. Like so, and we're gonna try to have it hang off the same amount. Um, what is that from that point? What did I say? I'm just curious now. To the bottom is about two and a half, two and two and nine sixteenths, so two yeah, it's about right. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that on, letting that hang down. Don't let me mess that up. <laughs> so we're gonna go about right here. And this edge. You didn't know you were coming to the clown show today, did you? <laughs> uh, sometimes I think I should put a warning label on my videos because sometimes I go rogue and it's, it can be messy predictable because this was not wide enough but we're gonna just embrace it you know it's what we do I like that blue peeking out though underneath that's really cool just gonna give that a press it's just not quite wide enough okay but this is this is the effect that I wanted so that when this closes we've got these bits hanging off where we're gonna be able to put some eyelets which is gonna be really cool so I think we should probably be able to do that now um, but I think we'll move on to something else and just make sure that all of that is nice and dry. So let's go ahead and work on this. So I'm wondering if we want like a large vellum pocket or do we want a belly band or I'm actually inclined to put a belly band on this one because you can see through it. And we've got, my paper's pretty vintagey, but I think it's gonna, it'll be fine. So see how that still shows which I think is really, really cool. So let's just go simple here, and I'm gonna make it about as wide as the shoulders of the dress. Oh, 
I just love that. And it makes these vintagey looks in it. I love it. Go ahead and do that. I have an idea here though. And I think that I want to grab a whale tail tab or make one. Maybe we'll make one with um, this paper, this some of this um, vintage paper. Because I think I want to have something hanging off of here too, maybe a whale's tail. So let me grab my my small um, die cut thingy. Um, I put it in a safe place as I was fussing around in here. <laughs> so I've got the sidekick, which is nice when you just want to grab something really fast. And I think I'll just use some of this paper. That's this uh, cut off. And then these are my whale tail dot dies. I got these on Etsy. If you're interested in where I got them, I can certainly let you know. Um, I'll leave it out so it'll prompt me to, to link them, but I got it on an Etsy shop, which I love. would highly recommend this purchase of these dies because it comes with three different sizes and I think two, two, at least two of each size. So you could do a whole like, you know, a six by 10, you know, inch um, bit of them. And, and you actually, when you run them through a regular die cut machine, you can do two layers of paper at the same time. So you get the double, double the amount for the same amount of work. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this on right there. I love it, and I love those black dots showing too. That's really cool. Oh, I love it. So, a little bit of glue on the top and the bottom. I don't worry about glue showing you guys. I just, life is too short. It's, this is art, this is paper crafting, and I don't, I just don't fret about that stuff. It's not that important. If it's important to you, you could certainly, I'm gonna reverse that. You could certainly um, do something different. I'm not sure what the different would be because vellum is vellum, it's tricky to work with. So we're just gonna stick that up there at the top, give that a press. I like that better. I like those cracks going through the top. And those, yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, you know what? We're not gonna be able to put anything on here. I don't think, I don't know if my eyelet setter will go through that. Should we should we risk it? It's kind of thick. I don't know. I don't know if we should risk that. But we could go like this and just do that and have our eyelet on that. Let's do that, I think that would be safer. So, but then we can't get the eyelet on the whole thing. Ah! Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea quite honestly, because I don't think my eyelet setter will work through all these layers. I don't know if I want to risk it, because if we, if it doesn't work, it's a, it's, this is wrecked, right? So I think we're not going to do that. We might risk it later if I feel a little bit more sure. But that is that. So let's go ahead and do, do, do some, do, do some in here. So I've got my uh, punch and my setter. I use the small setting, which is the, what is that? Well, I don't know, I can never figure these things out. But anyways, oh, it's the 1 8 And this is the 3 16 so the 1 8 So we're gonna go, um, shall we do, I think I almost wanna do three, so let's do three. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go one, and I'm gonna go down here, two, and I'm gonna go in the middle, four. And I'm just estimating, you guys. I'm not worried about perfection. Perfect, so let's do the same over here. So again, I'm gonna start at the end. 
and I'm going to go to the other inside edge. Hope you guys can see that I realize I'm way off here. Let me scooch over. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, and then one in the middle. Middle ish. Awesome. Get some eyelets. I need to order some more of the small ones because I've been using a ton of eyelets lately. So we need six. Okay, let me just set these real quick and I'll be right back. De debating on whether I not want the, I think I want the um, eyelet to be the back of it on this side. So let's do this. This is the last one. I did run into a little snafu. So if you're copying me, you want to make sure you open these up because I didn't open this one up and I kind of got it stuck. Um, I was able to get it free without damaging anything, but it was a close call. So, so there we go. So we'll put some seam binding on those as well, but look at that. Now we could put something here too. That would be really cool to complement that. We could do a whale tail tab here so let me look at the paper and see if there's another um i'd love to bring in some of the blues in this but not nothing too um too bold like this would be perfect right here so let me see if that will fit my whale tail tab die tab thing yes just barely oh boy let me get some washi here hold that in place because that's going to be precarious so let's just put a little bit of tape on here okay like so and I'm going to run this through my machine again all righty I love these dies so much you guys they're so handy okay Ooh, beautiful so let's go ahead and fold that in half and I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with inking it up. We're already 40 minutes in, guys. We didn't really get a whole lot done today, but I would rather have the video not be too long and come back with another part um, later. So now on this one, I feel like, so our pocket is right here. So if we put one here, we wanna make sure that we go on the edge. This isn't too thick, but I think we can go through this. I feel like I've got some white core showing. So let me ink that up before we make it so that I can't get to it. There we go. Boy, it's still there. That's all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on here, and we're gonna go, again, as, as mi minimal as we can in terms of how far up we put that. Um, oh, we can glue, okay, I'm thinking about this wrong. So what we'll do is we'll glue this on and we'll put our hole there. We don't have to put the hole through the whole thing, so goodness gracious. So I'm gonna put just glue about here down And again, on the other side, same position. I feel like I'm all thumbs today. Okay, let's do it that way. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm kind of putting it down here so it's lined up too, so that's why I'm going low here. And I'm just gonna put that up there, boom. Now I can lift it and straighten. Oh, I love this so much. This is a this is so fun. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit more than I planned. I feel like it's now too much to the right, so I'm gonna try to fudge it a little bit. Yeah, perfecto. Yes. Okay, let's put another eyelet. Why not? <laughs> I'm going eyelet crazy. <laughs> 
for some reason they seem really fun right now. I'm not sure what that's about, but we're going to do it. Because this is grungy. It's grungy vintage. It's fantastic. So there we go. I think we're going to stop after this. And I'm going to come back with the next video um, after a bit. Um, well, a bit, a bit longer for you than me but um, we're gonna spread these out. I don't like to do one project day after day after day after day on the channel. I like to mix it up a little bit. So look at that though. That is absolutely amazing if I do say so myself. So that is awesome. So what we'll be doing in the next video, so see, and we did not affect that pocket at all because it didn't, the eyelet didn't come down in, in, into the pocket. So we'll be making some large um, tags to go in here. Um, I'll probably cut some stuff down and then we'll, we'll kind of do them on camera. Um, I think that I'm not gonna really do anything on these bases because I think that's really pretty. This one we'll probably do, um, uh, I don't know what we'll do here. Maybe we'll do even like maybe um, a vellum envelope or something. I don't know. It's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful to cover up. To, I don't want to cover it up. And then um, here I'll probably put some kind of a sentiment, a little bit of de decoration because this is the front and this is the back. So um, again, I'll probably put, um, maybe I'll do a belly band on this one instead this time. Um, and maybe we'll do a vellum pocket here. Let's go ahead and do the vellum pocket here today. Um, just because I think we've got the time and we're in we're in good shape. This is going to be not wide enough. So let me grab another one. I printed, I think, two of them. So a nice large vellum pocket would be really nice too, I think. So let's go ahead and put this one on. So I'm just gonna make a mark there and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. I should probably just finish the pockets in this video, shouldn't I? But we're not doing a whole lot more, so let's just see where we're at here. Sorry for the rough go on this. Um, coming to the table without being prepared with ephemera and not really, I mean, I planned it out a little bit in my head, but um, it'll get easier, I promise. I just feel like today was a little bit messy, so if that's troublesome to you, I hope that you'll, you'll give me another, another try. I love this because then I can put something on this pocket um, we could actually get a piece of lace. I love how that's coming up in the tie. Sweet! Okay, let's go ahead and glue this on. So again, the white glue on the sides. Now, I think the Barely Arts works really well with vellum. Um, comparatively to other to other white glues so there is that so I'm gonna see if I've got a piece of lace that we could apply to this right now so pardon my uh, looking here in my drawer we've got this vintage I um, not vintage I coffee dyed um, a whole spool of this lace that I get from Hobby Lobby and I thought that would be fun it could either go on the bottom let's see what it would look like if I put this whoop, what was that feel it was something important fell on the floor but I'll look for it later so if I did that here this would be really pretty here and then it would actually accent the sorry silk or seam binding that we put on there as well so let's do it
yeah that looks good on that side I love it love it love it I'm just gonna trim that little frayed bit off it'll probably fray more but that's okay and then let's just trim this off as well Awesome, awesome pasta. So beautiful, oh my goodness. You know, I almost feel like we need to do it on this as well, just to give this side some, some interest. So we'll let this be the more grungy side. And then um, where do we wanna do that? I think we're going to stop for today because I don't want to make a decision that I'm going to regret. But what I'm thinking is putting another piece here and kind of having it be kind of staggered there um, or coming from the inside, I'm not sure. Um, and we'll probably put um, a belly band or something on that in the next video and then we will think about this and we'll create some stuff to go in these pockets the belly band, this pocket, and the one on the back as well. So we've got quite a bit more work to do. We Some of the pre-made ephemera will already go in here. So like, for instance, this little tag would be perfect in there. We've got this pair of jeans that might fit in there. I'm not sure. It might be a little bit too wide. Yeah, it's a little bit too wide, but it can be trimmed down. Um, but there's lots and lots of ephemera here. There's this one that's probably too big as well. They're all too big, but we will trim them up. But we will wait for the next video to do that. So thanks so much, guys, for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.